Hi everyone, uh, this video is about how to determine the first ply failure or the short form is FPF of a laminate by using Abacus CAE. Of course you need to have the fundamental of uh, mechanics of composite or laminate uh, before you can uh, do this with a good understanding. Briefly, these are the three main types of failure in laminate. Uh, you might have more than these three, uh, but these are the main ones. The first one is the first ply failure. The second one is the ultimate laminate failure. And the third one is the interlaminar failure. In this video, we will be focusing on the first ply failure analysis by using Abacus. Before we go to the Abacus, let's introduce ourselves with the first ply failure with the short form FPF. It is a failure of individual laminate or plies within the laminate. Uh, we can simply call it initial failure as well. So in this failure, a laminate is considered failed when there is any layer in the laminate fails. It is done by determining the stress uh, in each individual layer uh, and assess them based on selection failure criterion. So this is based on assumption that the lamina in a laminate behaves the same manner as an isolated UD lamina. To do the FPF analysis in Abacus, we have this example where we have tensile specimen, rectangular shape with this dimension. The material is a glass epoxy laminate with five layers. The type of analysis is a static analysis where the step time is one second. We request for the output to be requested for every 0.01 second. So in the case of step time of one second analysis, we are going to have around 100 frames of results. In this example, the load is 1500 kN per millimeter of shell edge load with RAM amplitude. Actually, it is a default setting of amplitude for static analysis. Uh, where the effect is like this, we're going to have an uh, increment of load from 0 load to 1500 kN per millimeter in one second. So in, only at one second, uh, we're going to have a full load of 1500. So since it, the, nature is, uh, the nature of the load increment is RAM, so we can linearly determine uh, the amount of load uh, at a particular time. For example, there at time 0.3 second, the load will be 0.3 multiplied by 1500, which is 450 kN per millimeter. So to do the analysis, start with the step number one, where we apply the failure criterion at time t equal to one second. So by default in Abacus, when we view our result, this is the default time which is the last frame of the uh, result, one second. So we apply the failure criterion, in this case, the maximum stress criterion. So meaning we need to analyze the value of the stress component, stress one, stress two, in both tensile and compression, and also the shear stress. Of course, we need to compare, uh, by use, uh, we need to compare to the strength value uh, by using this criterion. So let's say we find out that uh, the stress component one in the tensile direction is the one that has already failed. Uh, meanwhile, the rest of the stress components uh, did not fail. So now knowing that the stress one failed and the rest uh, did not fail, so we go to the second step, which is to find the frame when the laminate meet the criterion for the first time. So since in the step one, we only know that component stress, stress component one failed. So you are, we are going to focus on stress one only. So meaning that uh, we keep stress one as the contour plot in our viewing or visualization. All right. But then we uh, change the frame or the step, the step time of the results. So as in figure right now, uh, you can see that uh, by clicking the result and then step frame, 
uh, it will highlight where the frame that you are now uh, so by default of course it is the last frame or at the end of the simulation which is time equal to one second all right so actually you can double click at other frame uh, in order for you to view the results at different time before one second so what we're going to do now is we continue to change the frame uh, and then every time you change the frame you view the results uh, to find out where the, the stress component S11 in this example right, is still higher than the strength or lower than its strength and then you need to find the time or the frame when it first time meet the failure criterion so let's say this is the frame where S11 first meet the criterion all right in this example like frame 88 Right. It means that the laminate starts to fail at 0.88 second based on this maximum failure criterion. So now we know exactly the time when it starts to occur or starts to fail. Uh, what's the things? Uh, what's the next things to do is to determine the load, the amount of load that caused the first failure. So knowing that the load is increased by rem, so we take that time which is 0 0.8 it multiplied by the total load which is 1500 kN per millimeter then we know that uh, the value is 1320 kN per millimeter is the load that caused the uh, first failure in that stress component so once you has determined once you has determined the time or the frame where the laminate first fails then you can use the selection method ply in order for you to determine in which ply actually it fails due to that uh, stress value in that stress components so once you find the ply you know this information which is the ply that caused the failure you will know the value of load that caused the failure and you will know the time when the failure occurs so this is what we call as first ply failure, FPF, and this is how we do it in Abacus.